Hi everybody, welcome to Drawing Swimmy. We are doing part one of Swimmy the Fish in the style of Leo Leone. So to begin with, we're gonna start with our white sheet of paper and in the bottom third, so if there's one, the middle is two, the bottom is three sections. In the bottom section, we're going to create the bottom of the ocean. So in doing so, we're gonna put some rocks. We're going to put some shells. We're gonna make it look like a beautiful coral reef growing on the bottom of our ocean picture. Maybe you got some horn coral. Now you don't want the coral to grow too high. That's the trick with this lesson. You can put some seaweed and things growing on the sides, but nothing, nothing belongs in the center because we're gonna be doing something super, super special to the center of our picture later on. Now, Leo Leone, when he wrote the Swimmy book, used some very special artist techniques to create his water and to create his Swimmy fish. So we're going to do our own version of the Swimmy illustrations. And we're gonna use several of the same techniques that Leo Leone used to make those pictures. Now, here's a good question. We're gonna be adding water to this project next week. Do you think blue would be a good color? Probably not, because once we put blue paint onto our paper, is the blue crayon gonna show? Nope, it's not. So, let's stick with colors that we will be able to see. We'll be able to see this pinkish color, we should be able to see greens, we should be able to see purples, we should be able to see yellows. The only color that won't work out too well for us is blue. You could even use some black if you want. I like to avoid it, I don't think we need to use black, but if you want to, you may. Uh, in your seaweed, if you wanted to get super fancy, why you could put a letter S and you're probably saying, Mrs. Perna, a letter S, it's really strange. Nope, give it a head and a little mouth. You'll probably figure out what I'm drawing. And add a little triangle fin and color in that body, just a little bit, not a whole lot, because they are super skinny. There is my little seahorse hiding in the seaweed. So you could put more shells, you could put more coral, There's coral called brain coral. It looks like a brain, brain, brain. So you can put some brain coral. You could even at the bottom of the ocean, if you wanted to, you could put a little crab, put a circle, give it some legs. Sort of looks like a spider right now, but that's okay. And then you give it two rectangles and two letter C's. And look at that, there's our crabs. Laws. That's what he uses for protection. I'm going to take a black crayon. I'm going to add his eyeballs so he can see what he's doing. There we go. So here's the bottom of my ocean. I am all set for the next step. If you want to, you can also kind of color just the base of it, give it a little bit of sand. The whole idea is that the bottom of the ocean needs to look different than the rest of your piece of paper because the rest of your piece of paper is going to be covered with paint. Thanks for joining me for part one of swimming.